Hello Scorpio, welcome to the channel, uh, it's Rad and uh, in this video we're going to check into our weekly tarot reading July uh, 18th up until July 24th, 2022 and uh, if any of you guys uh, wants to have a uh, personal reading with me uh, you can always go to my uh, website uh, which link you're going to find pretty much in the description down below so with that said, uh, let's do the cut and see what we have. Uh, the first one for us, uh, this is going to be a promising start here of the two of uh, the two of cups, uh, followed by the second card of the spread, which gets even more promising because we do have the page of uh, the page of cups, followed by uh, the lovers card. And if anyone had a, a doubt that this is about uh, intimate interactions, have no doubts anymore. So we do have the lowers card and the final one for us, uh, that is going to be the, uh, the seven of wands. So those four cards, but I do want to draw one more for the page of cups and the card is going to be seven of pentacles. So we do have a, that elemental dignity for a, that particular individual here, a passive friends. It is what the elemental dignity stands for. Well, Scorpio, I kind of seems that we do have quite of a, a week ahead uh now it's just it can't elude me to notice that two of cups at the very first position which is our environment and uh, the lover's card which is the third position that is what helps us move forward and it kind of uh, tenders my heart seeing that lover's card there into the third position things would have been much different if these cards were reversed lovers into the first two of cups into the third uh, because uh, it seems that uh, there is more than one option uh and uh, it's all about interactions it's all about well let's put it that way it's all about love into the upcoming week um but as this is a overall reading here, let's first cover up the career very, very quickly before we move to the uh, intimate part of the reading. And career-wise, based on these cards, things are going to go into our work rather very smoothly, especially with uh, the people that we are working with colleagues, uh, clients, etc, etc. Now the only uh, real issue throughout the week is going to be one particular individual we can see here with that page of uh, pen, uh, page of cups, I'm sorry, which is catalyzed with the seven of pentacles, who is going to have a serious doubts. Is it really worth what we're doing? It could be our business partner or a colleague of ours, or maybe a client who is reluctant to pay for the service, whichever the case. And uh, it seems that uh, we are going to be, uh, with that seven of wands at the end, how can I put it into words? Um, things are going to move as smooth as possible, yes, but we are going to settle in that uh, false comfort, so to speak. So we got to be prepared to jump into action towards the end of the week when the action really shows up or the need for action really shows up and that's literally how the career reading goes here what is more interesting it's uh, related to our interactions intimate interactions that is and yeah it seems that the person who is gonna give us a hard time it's the closest one but not the only one so we do have the lover's card into the third position when it comes to choosing whom to go about with, uh, to move on with our uh, date, dating life or with our uh, emotional life, intimate life, etc, etc. <clears throat> and the closest one to us, the most obvious choice, actually they haven't made their mind yet. It's clear that there is an, an emotional attachment, what I mean that they, the very least, they do like us, okay, not to say a bigger word, because, uh, you know, it's going to be very different for every single one of us, but having that uh, elemental dignity here with the Page of Cups, which is a passive friend, uh, 
their emotional involvement is a little bit beyond the points of return. What I mean is that a severance, uh, it's going to cause a serious emotional distress. In fact, looking at the cards like this, it kind of seems that they want to spend time with us because when they are around us, they feel something unique, okay? Something that they can't feel among anyone else but as the card stands there into that position they can't really make it out what truly is and that what, what they really feel and that is something that it is depriving them of making the um the decision if you want to say the decision should they stay or uh, or go or go away and 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 that is something which kind of like is, is it's gonna scrape down uh, down our nerves because that is something we need to base our decision on so the whole environment into the week very lovely especially when it comes to interactions you can expect uh, no boundaries literally no boundaries the ego is not going to be problem uh, the pride is not going to be a problem nor the shyness so you can expect big revelations to kind of like uh, to start coming down throughout the week if uh, you for example if you had suspected that someone loves you but they never told you that you just you suspected it through their actions in the way they are seeking your attention for example very likely that this revelation is to come down uh throughout that week and it's not really gonna stun you it's not really going to flabbergast you i mean you you saw that one we saw that one comment for quite a while now and this is going to be the final nail into our harmony so that pretty much resolves the problem of am i making the right or the wrong choice by deciding whom to move forward with when it comes to a uh, a relationship or am i doing the right or wrong choice if i decide to go with that specific person when it comes to relationships so you can you can expect into your personal life to um become lighter with one less problem moving forward and uh, I, I love having the lover's card into a third position because it speaks that there is no right or wrong choices whom to go about with you may have for example a current suitor but an ex may show up into your life into that current week and you may be baffled which one to go forward with well I, I am almost inclined to say that that is exactly what's going to happen because the seven of wands at the end, but whichever way you decide or we decide, it's going to work. It's going to work for us. That is what the lover's card pretty much promises. Seven of wands at the end of the reading, it kind of shows that there is going to be a power struggle in between these two people. And, um, you know, it's a nice for a change uh, to um, have... A, two people power struggle over us instead of we always being on the not the center but on the one side of that power struggle point uh point made here is that this uh this clashing between these two individuals it may not even be um direct what i mean is that they may not even know about the existence of one another but still there is going to be a competition into our mind and ultimately at the end we will have to make the decision whom we are going to move forward with and like i said there is no right or wrong decision personally what i would advise you looking at those cards just go with the one that you feel the most harmonious with but in some cases, you may have to be inclined to go about with the one that you must go or you have to go. Uh, to me, it will be, uh, it looks like there is going to be a power struggle in between that person that can't make up their mind about you or about us with someone who very well knows what do we worth and so the one that cannot make up their mind has to really catch up with the value that they're putting on on the situation and they are getting there i mean the page of cups it's it's making reassessments as i am speaking at this uh, at this very moment so it does look like a a lovely week uh, for us uh, scorpio and for a change people are gonna try to fight us over rather than 
fight against us over so with that said that was uh, the weekly title reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye